Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Keo Show. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests about this. I'm going to try to not make it a versus video. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, fly barless and fly bar helicopters. Uh, I've been getting a lot of a lot of requests lately for this. Uh, one of my uh, newer subscribers. Uh, Accuracy Speaks has been asking me a lot of questions about RC helicopters and this was a question he asked me yesterday so I figured why not uh, put a video because uh, I've been actually getting a lot of requests for this to, to talk about it. Uh, people getting into the hobby are a little confused when it comes to uh, fly, fly barless and fly bar, what does it mean? So we're going to go over it. I'm going to try to make the video quick and short guys and not drag it out any further than we have to. I have a fly barless head here and I have the old uh, uh, fly barred head and uh, basically we're going to just talk about it. I'll show you the differences and, and we'll talk quickly about it. Uh, years ago a gyro came about uh, and this little device here uh, came about to help uh, stabilize, control the tail, keep it under control. The tail is spinning at double the RPM of the, uh, the main rotor blades and uh, they were quite hard to control uh, years back without these little devices. So that really, when that came about, the uh, computer uh, uh, gyro really revolutionized uh, the helicopter, the RC helicopter industry and uh, definitely made it easier for a pilot to have a little bit more fun uh, flying and, and not have to concentrate about keeping the tail under control as badly. Uh, now these little devices make these tails rock solid where they don't even move uh, and they're just getting better. But anyways, uh, a fly barless helicopter guys, okay, and I have an old head here so let, let me show you a fly bar uh, head up close and show you what it consists of here all right this is the uh, the old head off of the helicopter and basically uh, you eliminate about 60 to 70 parts guys all right now this is your the old fly bar mechanical system here you had your fly bar you had your paddles you had the fly bar cage which is this cage here you can see looks like it resembles a cage okay you had a lot of parts here um, and basically this was uh, what the fly bar does is stabilizes the helicopter guys a picture a guy walking across a tightrope uh, at a circus holding you know the guy that holds the big uh, stick a rod out there and he's balancing himself well that's what the fly bar uh, does guys it is basically it stabilizes the helicopter uh, the heavier the paddles uh, you know the more stable it's going to be the less reactive it's going to be so these are some of the parts all right the cage here you're eliminating the I counted about 60 to 65 to 70 pieces that are eliminated. All right, now that's what it looks like the old system. Let me put this and I'll try to give you some good good views of everything here. Okay. Okay, like said this is the fly bar, the paddles, the fly bar cage is eliminated. Uh, you know, all the little bearings, the screws and everything are eliminated out of there. Uh, this one is missing uh, the blade grips because they're on the new head. But if you can, if you take a look at this, you'll see the mess of stuff in here. And then when I show you the new one after, you're going to be like, oh my god. Alright. So let's sit back down, give you an idea about that. So what I just showed you guys is the mechanical uh, fly bar. All right. Now, they came up with an idea to basically make a gyro is all it really is. That is going to that is going to control your three cyclic servos. Okay? 
uh, like I said, the, the gyro for the tail used to control just the tail, helping you, uh, you know, like, I don't want to really say an autopilot, but it helped you considerably, okay, to fly. And now, basically, what this is, by removing that, something has to take its place, because you wouldn't be able to fly without it. The helicopter would just be ridiculously out of control and stable. Uh, I've never tried to fly with one, uh, but I could only imagine. Uh, so basically they came up with a system. They have quite a few different makers. There's B-Stex, which, which I have is very popular, one of the most popular. The Align has their own system, the 3GX. Uh, and there's quite a few new companies popping up now uh, with them. And basically the, all it does, guys, is it's just a bigger version of a gyro. It has the tail gyro built into it, and it has a gyro to control your two ailerons, your pitch, uh, and your elevator. And basically how it works is if you move the helicopter this way, and you see the swash plate. Let me grab something here to show you. Okay, picture this is your swash plate, and the helicopter goes this way. Well, automatically this thing, without you having to do it, is going to auto-correct and try to stabilize. It's always trying to stabilize it and keep the disc, the swash plate, flat. Okay? So you go this way and it's automatically trying to counter back this way. You go that way and it's trying to counter this way. Uh, so basically that's what it does, guys. Uh, I don't like to use the, the word autopilot because it gives people the wrong impression. They think they can just jump right into something like this and start uh, flying it. And uh, I wouldn't want anybody to get the wrong impression. So it's basically, in layman's terms, a gyro to control your, your three cyclic servos, which are your three servos up here controlling the whole head unit. So I hope that answers uh, the questions. Um, now the other thing is, is what does it do as far as performance and why did they switch to it? Well, it's the new latest greatest thing. Everybody's switching over to what I did. It's going to be the, the, uh, the phase, the new wave of the future. Uh, the flybarred uh, helicopters will be obsolete. I think a line doesn't even make uh, some of their models in flybarred anymore. I think the uh, 700 and 800, I don't even think they come with a flybar anymore, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, it, the one big thing, guys, it eliminates about, like I said, 60 to 70 parts which is going to make your crashes cheaper to fix everything because you're not going to have all those. Uh, it makes the head incredibly clean looking. You're down to the head button, which you don't even need if you don't want. You've got your two blade grips uh, and you've got your two pitch rods going to your swash plate and then your three cyclic servos connecting to the swash plate and that's it. You know, So it's very easy to work on. A head like this would have taken you hours to, to put together uh, not as far as the, as much as the complicatedness of it, but making sure everything was Loctited and everything was in its place and uh, You have to worry about all these little mechanically, uh, you know, these pieces coming loose uh, And uh, you know keeping everything Loctited and double checking everything before flight it, it really eliminates this whole mess and just gives you a simple platform here so that's the big, big thing, and, the, and your price count goes down when you have a crash, obviously, because you're not replacing tons of that stuff. I've had bad crashes where I've bent these uh, fly bars, guys, and they are a nightmare to get out. You have to cut them, you have to bend them, you have to pull them, and uh, usually the seesaw will bend with it, which is another thing you have to replace. Uh, so that's as far as the first thing. The second thing is really... The handling is outstanding, they're more accurate, the movements are quicker, it just makes it beyond having a computer controlled radio which made these things tunable out of control. Now you can even take it to the next level of being able to really tune these things to perfection guys, to whatever you, however you want to fly. Uh, so they're, they're quicker, they're going to they're gonna be faster because you have less moving parts, less rotating parts, so the machine is going to be fly faster, it's going to be less wear and tear. You should get a little bit extra battery life out of it too. Uh, the movements, like I said, the responsiveness is going to be out of this world quicker movements and control if you're into uh, extreme 3D stuff. Uh, and like I said, the, the tuna, 
the way you can tune them now is just, you know, it was a big deal when a computer radio came along, and now this even takes it to the next level. Uh, a lot of the E-Flight helicopters are coming now uh, with the, the Spectrum and Fly Barless and everything. Uh, so that really, I mean, uh, really sums it up, guys. I mean, you're going to get a, a cleaner looking head, an easier to put together head. You're talking hours to, you know, literally five minutes. And uh, a quicker respond in Healy, uh, cheaper to fix Healy because of the less parts. And uh, so, uh, I mean, that really sums it all up. And basically, you know, to explain that in the simplest terms, it's just a, a higher tech gyro that is used to control, uh, you know, the head and also the tail. I'm going to pull the camera off the pod, guys, now, and I'm going to just show you uh, the difference again here. I have a video out already, which I showed this, but I wasn't really uh, talking too much um, about this subject as, as in-depth as now. All right, so look at this head. You've got your blade grip. You got your pitch rod, two pitch rods, okay, and you got your three cyclic servos connected to the swash. See how clean that is? There's nothing there. That's it. Now we look at this mess. <laughs> All right, so this gives you an idea of the difference between a fly barred mechanical head and a fly wireless. Look at this mess and now look at this. <laughs> look at this mess. And look at that. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, guys, I hope that you got an idea of what fly wireless is all about. And uh, let me put this camera back here on the pod. So, uh, that's really that sums it up, guys, uh, in a nutshell of what it's all about. And I hope this gives you an idea of what fly barless is all about and uh, what an old fly bar head looks like and understanding how the, uh, the system works that controls everything. Like I said, in, in layman's terms, it's just a, a gyro, guys, that is just controlling the head along with the tail. Uh, and the technology is growing and it's exciting where the hobby's headed and uh, hopefully it keeps uh, keeps heading in that direction and uh, we'll uh, just keep having fun flying and uh, be safe flying and uh, I thank you for watching this video take care